Good morning, everybody. Thank you for uh, taking time out of your day to come see us here. Uh, we're from Leda Crete. Our booth is uh, just next door, right over here. And uh, today I'm gonna talk about our newest uh, member of the Hydroban family, and the waterproofing family, which is our new Hydroban Quick Cure. I apologize for any of the, uh, the light that's refracting off my head right now. <laughs> Didn't expect to be so bright out here. Um, so we'll get into uh, talking about our new, newest product. Uh, we at Leda Crete, um, you know, we view innovation with everything we do. Um, especially, you know, it's at our core value. It's always about innovating, uh, taking the next step, helping contractors, helping them save time and money in all of their endeavors. And with this product, if I can, so with this product, you know, we're literally saving well over days of time setting up mortar bed shower systems. Um, this product was uh, about four or five years uh, in creating it, and it's, uh, it saved many contractors days and days of installation time. So what is it? Hydroband Quick Cure is a rapid waterproofing membrane. It's used on fresh, wet mortar beds. As soon as you can walk on it, you can start putting down this waterproofing membrane. There's some nuances to it. It's very different than our regular Hydroband product. So I'll go through those and we'll have a little demonstration here. Up here with me today is Gilles Bignolis. He's a manager of our technical services department. Mr. Phil Canto. And he's one of the sales reps out of uh, the Georgia area. Uh, let me go back here. So with this product, it actually has wet cure technology. What is wet cure technology? Yeah. Wet cure technology is essentially a product that a needs moisture to actually cure. Go ahead. So I'll repeat that. It actually needs moisture. It needs water to actually cure. Oh, that for now. Hmm? Unlike any other waterproofing product out there. So it can be used in any humid, wet, cold condition. We've definitely revolutionized the way waterproofing is done now in a shower. Uh, the product comes in one gallon. Approximate coverage is about 134 square feet per gallon. So you're gonna get a lot of showers done with this, with this product. Uh, once, you, once you open it up, you can basically just put the cover back on, make sure that the, you know, the moisture in the air will actually make it cure. You wanna keep it moving, keep it, keep it moving around. It's Green Guard certified. It's part of our 25 year warranty system and it's IAPMO approved as well. So how is it used? Right now, see, so as soon as you can walk on fresh mortar beds, you're gonna wanna put this down. Saves time, saves money. If you have a mature mortar bed like we do here, you're gonna wanna liberally spray some water on there and that just activates the product from below, starts it curing from below. We'll just put that in for now. The first step we normally do is actually painting the coves and corners. Build that up to about 30 mils. By doing so, you'll get 1 8 inch crack isolation. So build up the coves and corners for all that movement. If you feel like you uh, need to put fabric there, you can also use fabric. Paint it first, put the fabric in, paint it again. Next, you, you'll apply it to the field, and you could do one of two ways. So if you've got a fresh mortar bed, and a lot of times you may have some granules at the top that may or may not you know, be already cured, you can still walk on it, it's still fresh. We recommend using a, a grout float or, a, or a, like a straight edge trowel. That's the burn coat in that first, that first coating to kind of keep everything intact. Because if you start using a roller or, or, or a, a nap roller, you could start picking up some of, that, some of those particles. So we recommend that float, just to kind of burn coat that first coat in, get it nice, nice and burned in there. You apply the first coat, wait 15 minutes, and then apply your second coat. And 15 minutes after that, you flood test. It's that quick. And essentially, when you flood test, that is what's curing the product. As soon as you introduce that water, it's actually curing that product. It's kind of one of those products that's, I, it was very hard for me the first time I used it because it was so counterintuitive. 
to actually flood test something that I didn't feel was completely dry to the touch. It's almost like, uh, like driving an electric car. It's that next tail of evolution of that product that makes you kind of uncomfortable. But once we flood tested it, and I didn't believe Ryan at first it was actually gonna work, and we didn't even wait the recommended 15 minutes, we just flood tested it, and it just stayed there for until it finally evaporated. So th this product may seem counterintuitive to how fast it actually is, but it works really, really well. Thank you, Jill. Yeah. So what you see Phil doing right now, he's putting in the coves and corners, building up to about 30 mil. In the field, it's two coats, six mils thick, so a total of 12 mils. That's all you need. That's why you get so much square footage out of one gallon pails. We always recommend two coats, essentially that's so you can eliminate any pinholes, any voids. Very easy, very fast. Three simple steps. You apply the first coat, get it on there. 15 minutes later, put your second coat. Just go the opposite way, typically with your roller. The opposite way will help fill all those voids, pinholes, and then 15 minutes later, flood test. Question. Uh, the question was, what's the coverage from one gallon? Approximately 134 square feet. Get a lot of, lot of square footage out of, out of one pail. And it goes on very, very thin. Over here, we actually painted this, I think about 45 minutes ago, and we actually put water on it to cure it quicker. And if, if I would recommend you actually come up here and feel it, because it actually feels like a rubber pan already, and it's still wet from the water we put on earlier. So if, if you're not too shy, just come on up and feel this. Now, Once again, water, any type of moisture in the air, that's what's going to cure it. The quicker you want it cured, just add water. When you go up the walls, if you're using a, you know, any type of backer board, going up the walls, take a mister, mist it down liberally. That's what's going to kick that into, into cure mode quickly. We've had a lot of people use this, and I've seen on Facebook, you know, it's an hour later, um, you know, my, my product's not curing. I just tell them instantly, mist it, get some water on there. Once you get that water on there, it's going to start curing. We have another question? So the question is, do you need to do anything between the first and second coat? N nothing, nothing. Just, just essentially just, and I, another nuance to the product is, don't wait more than an hour. Make sure the first coat's still tacky, get that second coat on there. And then 15 minutes later, flood test. Now combined, we also have our quick cure mortar bed. So our quick cure mortar bed is essentially within one hour, you can start walking on that product. So you can pour, pull that mud bed, and an hour later, start walking on it. This makes the fastest mortar shower system on the market today. An hour and a half, and you can start tiling. Yes? Sure, question was, what do you use to clean up this membrane? Because obviously you don't want to use water. Water's just gonna cure it, your tools are gonna be useless. So we, re we recommend, Denature alcohol, typically, that'll take it right off. Yeah, don't, don't use water, because then once you do that, everything's done. You don't have to throw them away. Good question, though. thank you. Another question. Water, speed up the process. How does that work? How does that work? Um, through magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's magic. <laughs> Honestly, the R&D guys just tell me use water, and it cures. I believe them, so that's what we do. <laughs> Another question. What's the warranty on the waterproofing membrane and the crit cure together? Together would be a 25 year warranty. So the question was, what's the warranty by utilizing these two products, 25 years? Is that together? Together, yes. Individually, they're 25 as well, so either way. Once again, just utilizing our products from substrate up gets you the warranty system. Question is, does it stick to stainless steel? Yes, stainless steel, PVC, um, pretty much any type of plastic. Um, it's clothing, I've ruined a lot of clothes. Hands, it's, it really, it, once, you, once it starts curing, 
it's not going to let go. It's very difficult. I made, I made little samples for anybody who wants to come up later and grab a piece, and I've got literature as well. Another question. Stainless steel, the question was stainless steel, one, one coat or two? Two coats. Any other questions? Yes. So, uh, so the question is how soon can you put down this waterproofing when you do the, use the, our mortar bed? An hour. As soon as you can walk on it, any mortar bed. So any mortar bed from any, anyone else, a four to one mix. As soon as you can walk on it, you can put this down. The wetter the better, honestly. That's what's gonna start that curing process. So if you've got some other products that you're using, a four to one mix, if it takes four or five hours, that's when, as soon as you can walk on it, start putting it down. Wet yeah. concrete as well. Unlike most membranes that are moisture sensitive and they're sensitive to the moisture content of your substrate, this actually loves that moisture. So it doesn't matter if your moisture content is higher than the 75% relative humidity, which is typically what we recommend. Uh, another, another unique uh, thing we do with, with our uh, quick cure mortar bed, we allow regular hydroband to go on that 24 hours after, instead of waiting your standard 72 hours as well. So another benefit to that product itself, if you don't have this available, but you do have your regular hydroband, you can use that in 24 hours. Uh, we don't recommend it as a vapor barrier. No. Yes. Uh, will it, is it going to slow the curing time of a regular four to one mortar bed? Like, would you recommend waiting? Like, is that, that going to slow the curing? So the, the question is, is it going to slow the cure of that four to one mix bed? It shouldn't. It shouldn't. No. As long as you can walk on it, you're not going to damage it, you can put it on there. And it's gonna, it's gonna pull that, that water, it's gonna pull that moisture. It needs that, that moisture to cure. Any other questions? Anybody wanna come up? Um, we've got, got a ton of these little samples you can try. Pull it, play with it. Uh, basically, you can come up and, and touch. Uh, it's like our cooking show, we did this earlier. So this was maybe 45 minutes ago we, we actually did this. And it's already, already, already a, a waterproof membrane, so. If you don't have any questions, please come up. I've got literature. Great. Yeah, yeah, please. Please. It's 45 minutes ago? Yeah, 45 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a rubber membrane now. It's, it's a pan. It's a rubber membrane.